blocking myself from the wind here, I'm not truck modeling. Um, driving around all morning, which is what normal antelope hunters do. Um, the most antelope I saw was by the highway, uh, but I'm rattling back here. I'll show you this two track. Rattling back here on this two track road, it's through some broken country, which is just great for hunting antelope in high winds and hunting antelope period. Broken country really helps you out. It's amazing how they just don't want to live in it all that much if they don't have to. So there's antelope out in this flat behind me. Um, glassed up a good buck. I've been looking at him for a while. You know, it's just, it's hard to say. He just, he looks good. Just like one of them by the highway looked this morning too. But, uh, you know, you hate to make, hate to be looking at him from two miles away with the spotting scope and, and say he's good, he's all right, and then make a mistake. But, you know, and I don't want to spend a lot of time walking towards these antelope, you know, making stalks on antelope I'm not going to shoot to see that, okay, nothing really changed. I mean, usually they shrink when you get closer. Um, but judging antelope is so difficult, so. I don't know if I picked up anything with the uh, mag view, um, but uh, it's amazing how quickly on these nice fall days that you get the heat waves already. It's not even 60 degrees. It's warmer here than um, when I left town um, this morning, even in the dark. But anyway, that antelope just appears to have a lot of black, but I can't tell hardly anything about him. So. I'm going to drive a little closer, assuming this two track doesn't peter out in this wash, which is very possible because it's already, I don't know anyone who's traveled it in a long time, it appears. So um, anyway, I'm gonna get just a little bit closer. I don't even know if I have them pinned all that well. Kind of taking my best guess and I'm just gonna have to pay attention as I drive forward. But he's one that I, I don't, feel comfortable in driving past him even if he is a dink at least let's you know give him the benefit of the doubt we're all the way in here where nobody's been and that's like you know maybe it's just wishful thinking but it's just where you expect to find a big buck so i'm gonna go look at him i hope if they let me get through this wash and and don't spook from a mile away the things you see and the things you bring on an antelope stock. Walking sticks, they could be used as shooting sticks. Spotting scope, tripods, cameras, the whole nine. Okay, antelope are kind of bedded. A couple of them are bedded, the buck is bedded. And uh, we're hoping that them being a mile away, they don't care about me. And these little tiny spots where they could see me if they were really on their game. But we'll find out if they are. Well, I had started to doubt myself, but ended up being a perfect stock. Um, you know, I've got my gun with my barrel in the dirt like only I know how. This rock was the, the centerpiece of the whole thing. And it was, it was perfect. I'm about, well, I can't say I'm in bow range, but I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm like, you know, 120, I don't know, probably over 150 yards still from these antelope. Buck has great mass. He just doesn't have the length, I don't believe. I still haven't got a good profile view of him, but he doesn't wow me, so I'm going to try and get some footage of him real quick. Show him to you, but perfect stock. Can't complain about that. So as I babbled on about my stock, this buck ended up closing the distance towards me, and he's just getting a drink out of some rainwater that had puddled up in the rocks there in a low spot. And if I wasn't going to pass him up before, um, I definitely got a good look at him is right here. He's only about 90 yards away. So I looked over every square inch of him again and made up my mind again and uh, decided to head back towards the truck without him.
stupid angle, I know. <laughs> Trying to block myself from this wind is just about blowing my tripod over. I am within, well, I'm within a mile of no less than 400 antelope. There is one, two, three, four, five big groups and then some scattered, you know, little groups around. I can't find anything that looks huge, uh, but I couldn't shoot anything in this wind anyway, so I'm trying to get up uh, this little sagebrush patch, which puts me where I can see everything, yet puts me a little higher where the wind sucks even worse. So apologize if you can't hear me. I left the camera at the truck. We're doing this on the phone and <laughs> we're doing the best we can. The budget of this show is still low, if you haven't noticed. I'm uh, back at the truck, if you can't tell. Getting ready to go on my stock. Uh, there's just a million antelope. I just, I can't help myself. I have to go look. I spotted one. There's a couple that, ooh, you know, that's a good one. And then it's not. And then, ooh, that, uh, I don't know. But there's one with real forward uh, horns. And then one splays out a little bit. He's just cool. He's up there being a bully. That's going to be a hard one to pass if I can get close enough. But there are obviously so many eyes. This is flat, pancake flat, damn near country. There's all those cows up there, which I'm hoping they're cool with me and I can use them to my advantage. But my plan is to get, I gotta get back in the ditch, which you can't even tell there is a ditch, but there's just a little low spot. I'm gonna go as far up it as I can and that should also put me behind the cows. truck I'm trying to hurry so that I can drive back this way with the sun at my back and hopefully have one spotted for the morning well we slept in the in the truck last night usually the inside gets all condensated but in this case everything's frozen so looks like I'm gonna be here a bit I think it's frozen on the yeah it's on the inside so hey you'll have that it got colder than I thought it would last night 26 degrees so we did well but I only woke up one time but this is our reality this morning First, coming down the road, I'm trying to get to a high point behind me. And uh, there's some antelope right off the road. <laughs> well, I can't say it right off. 2,000 yards or 1,000 yards off the road. And one had a really good buck in it looking through my binoculars. He's super tall. He might have been the tall one that I saw during archery season. Um, 
but he doesn't have anything else, it doesn't appear. Standing here going cross-eyed from looking over a million antelope, trying to pan through. and I found one that looked better than the rest, and I said I'd come back to him, and now I either can't find him in the wad or... He's not that good, so such is life. I was really excited for this morning, like extended <laughs> into the middle of the day as morning, sunrise, they said, no wind. And they were right, but they said it was gonna be very low wind for a long time after, like very low wind through all of today and the wind's already getting it just a little bit enough to rock the spotting scope on the tripod so i think what my plan is is i'm going to get up here where i can uh, dodge this sliver of private um get on let's see what would it be the east side of it let's not get stuck in this that'll probably be my luck oh boy all right, not paying attention. Went through this in two wheel drive. I uh, thought I could winch myself out wrapping around some sagebrush, but that didn't work. But the locker saved me, let it be known. <laughs> we got out of it. Back to hunting we go. My goodness, popped up over this ridge. And uh, there's a buck that looks like the best one I've seen. We're very close to it, um, but he's moving in the direction that I'd already planned to go, but they were moving at a pretty good clip. So I'm working my way down here, hoping to find enough elevation in gain or loss to get on them. But you can see them all right now, you know, three quarters of a mile away up on the hill. So we're gonna glass antelope as we go. Try not to completely spook them and blow them out of the country and send everything running, but that's nearly impossible to do. So, wish me luck. Here we go. Staring down my rifle scope about 225 yards at one. The biggest one, a lot of mass, but not so tall. melt back into this hillside. Pretend I'm nothing. Well, I found the biggest buck in here. Well, I can't even say that. I found the buck I like the most. Just had him at 414 yards, just over this fence. Just can't do it. Gotta be prone and I couldn't see him prone. So they're sitting over there just about ready to crest the hill right now. And when they do, I'm gonna do a desert sprint through here and hope that they're not too far over the other side. That's about the only thing I got to go on, so. Um, he's nice, like I think I said it, he's got bigger prongs, he's not super tall, but he's got good mass and good prongs and good prongs just drives me nuts. Didn't even move. Oh, yes. <sighs> Sorry, snuck up here. Maybe you can see them all behind me. There go all the antelope. You gotta go back and get, I just, I went for it. Snuck up here. That was probably a little over 200 yards away. 191 and smoked him, so. He's a cool buck, big prongs. Not super tall. He's, he's the first good buck I saw in this unit that I didn't know if I would kill him. But I'm gonna stop rambling, get the rest of my stuff, and walk up there. Yes.
it has been so long since I've just been able to come out antelope hunting, look over a ton of bucks, have a good time, and just, I don't know, have the antelope hunt that everybody else gets. I, it's either, to me, put in for crappy tags or uh, don't hunt antelope. And I sure like hunting them. So this was just a joy to me to be able to come and do. And uh, I, the jealousy part of me, like I have to separate myself and go, okay, well, I've been, you know, I've been lucky in a lot of other ways. And so maybe I can't draw tags, but um, antelope tags, you know, first choice antelope tags. Uh, there's been so many people who draw year after year that I don't. I think Wyoming Game and Fish just, they know my second choice line. They, they know they'll get my money so they don't give me a tag, but um, you can see this guy's prong sticking up and he's still good, so, oh man. Anyway, just been a blast. Had a ton of fun. And I'm ready to put my hands on this guy. Well, that's the prongs you want. You just need them to be, you know, quite a bit longer, but what a cool, cool looking buck. That's exactly what he is. Big prongs and <laughs> just stumpy. Awesome. What a hunt this was. What a great time this was. Here we are.